Neurologist versus neurosurgeon. One treats the brain with medicine, the other with a scalpel. Welcome to our career battle series, where we compare two different medical career options to help you decide which is the best path for you. We'll break down training requirements, compensation, lifestyle, and the pros and cons of pursuing each career path. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. In our previous videos, we covered doctor versus surgeon, diagnostic versus interventional radiologist, and plastic surgeon versus cosmetic surgeon. Next up in the battle arena is neurologist versus neurosurgeon. Let's start by addressing a common misconception. Both neurologists and neurosurgeons are experts in the nervous system, but their approaches to patient care are fundamentally different. Neurologists specialize in the non-surgical management of disorders affecting the central and peripheral nervous systems. They're the medical detectives of the brain, using clinical examination, imaging, and diagnostic tests to diagnose and treat conditions like strokes, seizures, headaches, dementia, and movement disorders. Think of them as the internists of the nervous system. Neurosurgeons, on the other hand, provide surgical interventions for conditions affecting the nervous system. While they know a great deal about the medical management of neurological conditions, their primary focus is on operating. They handle everything from brain tumors and aneurysms to spinal fusions and trauma cases that require immediate surgical intervention. The key distinction lies in the treatment approach. Neurologists primarily use medications, lifestyle modifications, and non-invasive procedures, whereas neurosurgeons employ surgical techniques to directly address problems within the nervous system. Both specialties deal with the most fascinating organ system in the human body, but they approach patient care from opposite ends of the treatment spectrum. But while their approaches differ, they often work closely together. Neurologists frequently refer patients to neurosurgeons when surgical intervention becomes necessary, and neurosurgeons rely on neurologists for post-operative medical management. The training pathways for these specialties differ dramatically in both length and competitiveness. Neurology residency lasts four years after medical school. Your first year is spent on an internal medicine internship, as you need a strong foundation in general medicine to manage complex medical issues that your patients often face. The remaining three years focus exclusively on neurology training, including both inpatient and outpatient rotations. Neurosurgery residency, however, is the longest of all medical specialties at seven years, which reflects the complexity and precision required for surgical intervention on the nervous system. Most programs also include a dedicated research year. The difference in competitiveness between neurology and neurosurgery is considerable. According to our specialty competitiveness index, neurology is the sixth least competitive specialty. It has a match rate of 93.8%, an average step 2C K score of 250, and an average of 8.8 .8 research items. Neurosurgery, on the other hand, ranks second most competitive, having recently jumped from fifth place. It has the lowest match rate of any specialty at 68.7% and an average step 2 CK score of 255. It also demands the most research experience with an average of 37.4 publications, abstracts, and presentations per applicant. Want to know where the rest of the specialties rank? Access our free Specialty Competitiveness Index which breaks down key metrics for 22 medical specialties. Link in the description. Both specialties offer extensive fellowship opportunities for subspecialization. Neurologists can pursue fellowships in stroke, epilepsy, movement disorders, neurocritical care, and many others. Neurosurgeons can subspecialize in areas such as skull-based surgery, spine surgery, pediatric neurosurgery, or functional neurosurgery. There's a significant compensation difference between these specialties that reflects the training length, lifestyle demands, and market forces. Neurologists earn an average of approximately $348,000 a year, placing them in the middle range of physician specialties. This compensation reflects the chronic nature of neurological conditions and the limited number of procedures neurologists perform. Neurosurgeons, however, command the highest average salary in medicine at over $760,000. They consistently rank as the highest paid physicians, though, as the saying goes, they make the most money but don't have any time to enjoy it. Neurosurgeons have extremely demanding schedules. The high compensation reflects the extensive training required, the high-stakes nature of their work, the demanding lifestyle with trauma call responsibilities, 
and the exceptional level of skill needed to operate on the most complex organ system in the human body. The compensation difference also relates to the different practice models. Neurologists primarily make money through office visits and occasional office or bedside procedures, such as EMGs or lumbar punctures. Neurosurgeons make money through complex surgical procedures that command higher reimbursement rates. The lifestyle differences between these specialties are substantial. Neurology offers a more predictable lifestyle, with approximately 80% of practice being outpatient. Most neurologists work regular business hours, Monday through Friday, building long-term relationships with patients who have chronic conditions. However, those in private practice typically take call for local hospitals to cover stroke emergencies and urgent neurological consults. The work is intellectually stimulating, but can be emotionally challenging as many neurological conditions are progressive and currently incurable. Neurology consistently ranks high in burnout rates, particularly due to the chronic and often devastating nature of the diseases neurologists treat. Neurosurgery has a much more demanding lifestyle. In addition to scheduled surgical cases, neurosurgeons take trauma call, meaning they can be called in at any hour for emergency surgery. Brain hemorrhage, spinal cord injuries, and other neurosurgical emergencies don't follow a schedule. The operating room demands are intense. Some procedures can last 10 to 18 hours, requiring exceptional stamina and focus. Even as attendings, neurosurgeons often work unpredictable hours and face high-stress situations where split-second decisions can mean the difference between life and death for their patients. Now, what are the pros and cons of becoming a neurologist? Neurology offers the opportunity to work with the most fascinating organ system in medicine while maintaining a relatively balanced lifestyle. The field is experiencing rapid advancement with new treatments for conditions like multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, and stroke emerging regularly. Neurological diseases consistently receive substantial NIH funding. The specialty allows for deep, longitudinal relationships with patients. Since most neurological conditions are chronic, you'll guide patients through their journey over months or years, providing both medical management and emotional support. The intellectual challenge of neurological diagnosis, which means using the physical exam and clinical reasoning to localize lesions and determine treatment plans, appeals to physicians who enjoy complex problem solving. However, neurology also has some big cons. Despite increased research funding, many neurological conditions still have limited treatment options, which can be emotionally draining for physicians who want to cure their patients. Conditions like ALS, advanced dementia, and certain brain tumors have particularly poor prognoses, requiring neurologists to be comfortable with palliative care and end-of-life discussions. The compensation is lower than in many other specialties. Additionally, the emotional toll of treating progressive, debilitating diseases contributes to higher burnout rates compared to other medical specialties. What are the pros and cons of neurosurgery? The specialty provides the ultimate combination of intellectual challenge and technical skill. You're literally operating on the most complex organ in the human body, often in life or death situations where your intervention can dramatically change a patient's outcome. The field is highly innovative, particularly in areas like functional neurosurgery, where the line between biology and technology continues to blur. Neurosurgeons work with cutting-edge technology and techniques, from minimally invasive spine procedures to deep brain stimulation for movement disorders. The academic nature of the field means you'll be surrounded by brilliant colleagues and have opportunities to advance medical knowledge through research. The financial compensation is also the best in the business. That said, it's largely due to the fact that the training is the longest and the lifestyle among the most demanding in medicine. Which brings us to the cons. The seven-year residency is notoriously brutal with long hours and intense pressure. Even as an attending, the lifestyle remains demanding due to trauma call responsibilities. The emotional toll can also be significant. Many neurosurgical patients have poor outcomes, and you'll regularly face families in their worst moments. Bottom line, which is the best path for you? It ultimately depends on your personality, career priorities, and willingness to make certain lifestyle sacrifices. If you're fascinated by the nervous system but value work-life balance, prefer medical management over surgical intervention, and want to build long-term patient relationships, 
neurology may be a better fit. You should be comfortable with the intellectual challenge of complex diagnosis and the emotional challenge of managing progressive diseases. If you're driven by the desire to directly intervene in life-threatening situations, have exceptional manual dexterity, and are willing to sacrifice lifestyle for the opportunity to perform complex surgery on the most critical organ system, neurosurgery could be your calling. You'll need incredible stamina, both physical and emotional, to handle the demands of training and practice. It really comes down to four major differences. First, neurology requires four years of residency, whereas neurosurgery requires seven. Second, neurology is the sixth least competitive specialty, while neurosurgery ranks as the second most competitive specialty. Want to know where your specialty ranks? Our completely free Specialty Competitiveness Index ranks 22 medical specialties based on five key data points. Link in the description. Third, neurologists can have a strong work-life balance, whereas neurosurgeons are known for sacrificing their personal lives for their careers. And fourth, neurosurgeons earn over twice as much as neurologists. Let us know what medical career paths you'd like us to cover next in the comments.